All right then gang, so in this video, we want to take the user details or the job details that a user types in, that is the title, the salary and the details. And we want to send that in a post request as JSON to the server. So inside this server route, we can create another function to handle that post request to take the data and add it to the data right here. And that's this file over here. Okay, so let's send that post request first of all, using the fetch API from this function on the front end. So first of all, I only want to send this post request if we have a value for these three things. So let me check for those first. I'll say inside an if statement, if title, to check we've got a value for title and salary and details. So the only, if all of those have a value, we'll fire this if block. If one of them or more doesn't have a value, then we won't fire this and we won't send the fetch request. Now, since we're working with a fetch request, we're going to make this async because it's an asynchronous function and therefore we can use a wait inside this function. So now I'm going to say const result is equal to a wait and we're going to send a fetch request and we can do this. We can send a fetch request to send a post request and we just need to specify the method in an options object, which we'll do in a second. And this request is going to go to jobs.json. So that is the same file as we sent over here inside the index. We sent the request to the same endpoint, right? So it's this file over here, this route file. Now it doesn't matter that they're going to the same endpoint because we're gonna have two separate functions to handle two different types of requests. A get function to handle the get request, which is what we send right here. And also we're gonna have a post function to handle the post request, which is what we're gonna send right here. Now we need to specify that this is a post request inside an options object. So let's pass that in as a second argument and we say the method is going to be post and then on the server it can detect that this is a post request and handle it differently. The second thing I'll do is specify the headers and I'm just going to paste this in. So all we're saying is that the content type is going to be application forward slash JSON. That's just telling the server that look, we're sending JSON data in the body. And then we need the body itself, which is going to be the JSON data. And we need to stringify the data. So JSON.stringify. And then we pass in a JavaScript object. And that object is going to contain the title, the salary, and the details, like so. Okay. So that is pretty much it. That's the fetch request sorted. Now, if we wanted the response, the JSON response, we could say const updated jobs is equal to await response.json and then we could send back the updated jobs from the server if you want and that's going to happen after this fetch request has been made and we get a response. We're not going to use that but we can use it if we wanted to if we send it back as a response. Okay then, so the next thing to do is to handle this response inside this index.json file. So much like we made a function to handle the get request, we're gonna do the same thing, but this time for a post request. So I'm gonna copy this dude and paste it down here and change this to post. So again, this is a specially named function. When a post request comes in, then Sapper will look for this function to handle that post request, all right? Now inside here, we want to access the body data that was sent. Now that is all of this stuff right here. Now we can do that inside this file, but first of all, we need to use some kind of body parser to get that data in JSON format and pass it into a JavaScript object so we can use it and maybe attach it to this request object. So to do that, we'll be using the body parser package. So we're gonna install that down here by saying npm install body hyphen parser. Okay, and what this does is take any data that comes in as JSON. So this kind of data right here, this is JSON data that's coming into the server. And whenever that comes in, it's going to take that data and it's going to pass it into a JavaScript object and then attach it to the request object so that therefore inside our post handler, we can easily access that. All right. So what we're going to do now is use this package we just installed and we need to go to the server setup to do that over here and use it as middleware inside poker, much like we would in express apps. So we do that inside the use method, but first of all, we need to import it. So what I'm going to do is import and then we want to import the JSON method from body hyphen parser. Okay. And then all we need to do is use that JSON method here 
and that does everything for us okay so this middleware is now being applied inside our application therefore any request that comes in is going to be passed from json into a javascript object and therefore attached to this request object so we can now access it inside this handler and the way we access it is by saying const and we're going to use some destructuring because we want to get several properties off this and we want the title the salary and also the details and we're going to set that equal to request.body right so this is the same as saying something like const title is equal to request.body dot title and then const salary is equal to request dot body dot salary like so we're just doing it all in one go by destructuring these properties from this object request dot body okay so we're getting all of those properties from the request dot body and remember we're able to do that because they've been passed for us by this json parser all right so now what we could do is take the jobs, which is all of this stuff inside the data file, remember, which we imported at the top, and we could add to that array. So the way we do that is by saying jobs.push, and then we want to push in a new object where we pass the title, which we have now, the salary, which we have now, and also the details, which we have now. But there's one thing missing, and that is the ID. Remember, inside each of these jobs, we have an ID. So we need a way to generate a unique ID for this object and pass that in. Now, the way we're gonna do that is by using yet another package rather than make it up ourselves. Dead simple to do. What we're gonna do is say npm install and it's called UUID. Press enter and that's gonna install this for us. And then we need to import it up here. So import and we want to import the v4 ID generator and we're gonna import it as UUID v4. So we know what that is in the code and then we're gonna import that from the UUID package, all right? So now we can say down here, const ID is equal to UUID v4, and all we do is invoke that because it's a function, and that generates a unique ID for us and stores in here, and therefore we can also pass in the ID as a property. Okay, so this creates that new object and pushes it onto the jobs array then if we wanted to we could send back the updated jobs which remember we are receiving right here and then passing again into a json object and we're storing it there so if we wanted to log those to the console now console.log updated jobs to see those we can do and i'm now going to try this out so let me open up the console and job title let's just do any old junk salary it's going to be 40,000 a lot of money for essentially a job which is nothing and then add a new job and we get some kind of error it says unexpected token in json at position zero so that's in the svelte component and i can't see anything wrong here let me just restart the server and oops we had an error there let me just restart this and see what happens npm run dev like so and Okay, everything's working. And now if I refresh over here and try to add a job and a salary and then the job details, add new job. Okay, so now it's done. Let me just out put the updated jobs here. So let me save that. And if I type in a job title and a salary and some details add a new job okay so now it's working i just needed to restart the server because i made some changes and now we can see that the job has been added and it's right here so that is now all working now there's one more thing i want to do and that is after a user has submitted a new job i want to redirect them to the jobs page over here now we can do that really easily with sapper all we need to do is import something from sapper so let me do that import and we're importing go to from and it's at sapper forward slash app and now we can use this function to go to a particular component or route so down here instead of logging these to the console i'm going to say go to and then inside here we want to go to the jobs route so save that and let's see if this works i'm going to add a new job and then a salary and then if i add this it goes to the jobs route and we see that new job right here as well.